Hey everyone, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. We are live in my kitchen. It is Sunday morning. What time is it here? Like 10.40? Yeah, 10.45. All right, it's 10.45. I woke up and I was like, what if I go live early in the day instead of like later in the day? What will the audience think? And then I said, I'm gonna put on an outfit that looks like chocolate and I am gonna make chocolate chip bagel bites. Now, you may realize one thing, people. Anyone who has seen me go live before, you realize that my stuff, my, my stuff, my items, they're always backwards. I flipped the camera today. I want you guys to tell me whether or not you like it. I look at myself and I feel like my hair is parted on the wrong side. I look like a weirdo, but if you like the camera flip so you could read the labels, let me know and I'll try to rough it for you. Betsy, what do you think? You can you see you could read the labels Lauren is here and she's gonna read the comments while you read the labels um, Today a few things one I'm gonna be giving away an awesome set of hungry girl Baking uh, measuring spoons that you could use for baking or cooking or whatever you want hungry girl measuring spoons for your pleasure Look how cute they are. I'm giving these away if you want to win them write comments click hearts likes Whatever, just tell me you want to win these. I'm giving away a set. Um, and again, does it look weird? Do I look flipped around or do I look normal? What are they saying? Does it look? Said anything yet. You look normal. I don't know. I feel like I look like a weirdo. It looks what? Someone said I think it's more helpful. More helpful. Okay, it is more helpful, but not to me. So here, here's. Reading the labels. People are saying. Okay, good. Because you'll be able to read the labels, and it's great. So. The thing is, I'm making these bagel bites. Um, in the Hungry Girl world, there's something called three ingredient dough. And I use three ingredient dough to make bagel bites and pizza crust and empanadas and a whole bunch of things. And it's based on like a sort of popular two ingredient dough, but in our world it's three ingredients. And in case you don't know what those ingredients are, I'm gonna tell you. It's Greek yogurt, flour, um, the flour of your choice, my flour's over there because it was leaking, and baking powder. So those are the three ingredients in the dough. Today, this recipe is like turned on its ear a little bit and I'm doing a little more with it. I'm making a chocolate chip recipe. So there's sort of a fourth ingredient and that is powdered peanut butter, which is something that I know you know that I love. But aren't you happy you can read the label now? See, usually it says, but now it says PB Fit. So. Um, it's a great recipe. These bagel bites have 180 calories for four of them. I'm showing you them two ways because I made them two different ways. Today I'm going to make them with peanut flour, but the other day, I guess it was yesterday, it feels like 20 days ago in quarantine, but this, this is the regular way with regular flour and this has half flour, half peanut flour. So you can do it both ways. I will say this, the regular way tastes a little more like a bagel and the other way tastes, you know, with the peanut flour, tastes a little bit cakier. It's a little bit more moist. Um, hi, Mike, I see you, you watching. This is for you, baby, peanut, peanut butter. Anyway, so today, as you know, we're giving away measuring spoons. If you wanna win them, comment. Tell, tell us that you like the measuring spoons. Does that look better? <laughs> tell us that you like the recipes uh, and we will hopefully give them to you. Okay, now. Another thing about this recipe is it is messy. If I'm going to offend you by mixing dough with my hands, I'm apologizing up at the top because it's messy. So there it is. So I'm gonna start off by putting a quarter cup of regular flour. If you have whole wheat flour or oat flour, whatever flour you have is fine. I'm gonna use another quarter cup of the powdered peanut butter, which is essentially peanut flour. Okay, and by the way, you can, as I said, make this recipe both ways. You can make it with just a straight up half cup of the flour of your choice. But in my bowl, I've got two kinds of flour right now. I've got peanut flour, powdered peanut butter, and uh, regular flour. Next up, the baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. So, this is a half, and we'll do another quarter because a half and a quarter, you know what that adds up to? Three quarters of a teaspoon. What's going on out there today? What are you doing with yourselves? Anything fun? 
Okay, maybe not. Now we're gonna add a sweetener packet. I like Truvia, it's natural, it's, it's a stevia-based product. That's for a little sweetness. In my regular bagel bites, my everything bagel bites, I don't use any sweetener, but today I am. I'm also gonna use a dash of cinnamon because cinnamon is good for you. It makes everything taste even better. It makes that flavor pop. This is Watkins cinnamon. I don't know if you know, Watkins makes a lot of really great extracts and spices. So we've got a bunch of dry ingredients here that I am going to give a little mix to. Let's add a little dash of salt. Because everything that you bake tastes better with a dash of salt. We all know this. I'm trying to read some of your comments. You like the measure? You like the measure. If you want the spoons, you can win them. You can, you can. All right. I know, I feel weird, but it's okay. I will suffer for you. All right, next up, we are gonna put in the yogurt. Where is my yogurt? On the microwave. Oh, no, I know where the yogurt is. Um, Aircast, you do these videos regularly? I do these videos, I think around five times a week, but like there's no exact set schedule. I left the yogurt in the fridge because it was warm and I didn't want it to be warm because the dough works better when it's a little chilled. So this is a half cup of Faye, total 0%, that is my Greek yogurt of choice. If you go to the Hungry Girl website, where you should go anyway, and you should sign up for daily emails, and you should check out all the recipes, there's a lot of recipes for these, like, bagel bite type situations. Sometimes they call for regular yogurt, I mean, regular Greek yogurt, sometimes it's flavored. There are some recipes with, we have a blueberry recipe, a cinnamon raisin. Today, it's all about the chocolate chip. So, we put in our half cup, of Greek yogurt. Now I'm gonna put in a half teaspoon of vanilla. This is getting good, baby. Okay, we got the vanilla. Now for the fun part. This is the part that might upset you if you don't like when people use their hands because this dough is difficult. So you can start to combine it by doing a little mix, but I'm telling you, eventually you're just gonna stick your hands in there do you guys mind if I do that? Let me know. Because it's going to happen. If you use self-rising flour, do you need baking powder? No, actually you don't. That's a good question. Someone said if you use self-rising flour, you really kind of don't. But I've never really done it that way. Okay, so I started to mix it up. The dough is starting to look a little dough-like, but I'm going to need to get in there. So I'm going to coat my fingers in some flour, which is going to help make things a little less messy, but I'm going for it. Oh, okay, now I'm just gonna mix. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. This is, this is not an easy job, but someone's gotta do it. This is a fun recipe to uh, make with kids. I'm gonna mix this dough up really well, and when it's all ready, that's when I'm gonna put the chocolate chips in so they get more evenly distributed, because I've made these. If you try to put the chips in first, sometimes they're not like easily, they're not evenly distributed and you get like a bagel bite without any chips and there's nothing worse than that, is there? What's going on in the audience, anything? Questions, you guys want the measuring spoons? Yeah? Lauren, any so comments? You said your hands are nature's tongs. <laughs> <laughs> nature's tongs? Yeah. Your hands are nature's tongs. That is so astute of you and observant. I can't believe there's like uh They said rings and all. Hold on, yeah. You know what, if you're lucky, you'll end up with a diamond ring in your bagel bite. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Please don't tell people I said that. Okay, now, I need to get the chips in here, so I have to, I'm gonna rinse my hands. I'm still here. Okay. You only need a tablespoon of chips for this. By the way, this is gonna make eight bagel bites. A serving is gonna be four bagel bites, and you're just gonna get these chips in there, like so. Now they're in, and now you wanna get them all around. Evenly distribute those babies. Where are you guys? What part of the country? You know I'm in Los Angeles? Are you sure you like the camera this way? I feel like I look backwards. No, they all are saying you look crazy like the camera. All right. So it looks like a big ball. This is like a big ball of cookie dough, by the way. 
Da, 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 da. All right, I'm getting rid of this bowl and I'm moving in this item, also known as a cooking sheet, which I'm gonna spray. By the way, your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees. I forgot to mention that earlier, but 350 is where it's at. Okay, now, now we wanna turn this into eight little bagel balls, for lack of a better way to describe them. So I'm gonna divide that in half. I'm gonna make each one of these into four. I really am a mathematician. I bet you didn't know that about me. Okay. Colorado Springs, Daytona Beach. Ooh, I heard Florida's opening up a little bit. I don't know if that's a good thing, but anyway, we're gonna make eight little bagel balls. Look how cute they are. One, two, Irene, I see Irene in the audience. She just said all your recipes are great. She's here a lot. Thank you, Irene. You're the best. We'll post the recipe after. Yes, we're going to post the recipe. Three, four. Lori's drinking your iced coffee recipe. Oh, I thought she was drinking the happy hour slushy from oh, the other night. I was like, Lori. Corona. It's a what? Someone was just drinking a Corona. A Corona? Yeah. Really? Seltzer. Oh. Oh, this is getting sticky, baby. All right, we're making these into eight bagel bagel ball bites. Could you do these in the air fryer, do you think? Um, you know, I don't remember. I don't think we ever tried these in the air fryer. Yeah. I wonder if Aaron's in the audience. Is Aaron in the audience? Jamie yeah. might know. I don't think we ever tried these in the air fryer. I mean, you could do anything. Yeah, you can just try. The air fryer um, can do anything. Yes, at the end of the video is when we're gonna. These do look yummy. They smell peanut buttery. And again, just to remind you, you don't have to use the powdered peanut butter. If you just want to use straight up flour or whole wheat flour or oat flour or almond flour or coconut flour or cassava flour, pick the flour of your choice. It probably won't change the stats very much at all. Um, and it'll taste great. And look how cute they are. Let me rinse my hands because this is frightening. All right, now. This is on a spray tray. You've got your roly-poly bagel bite dough balls here. <laughs> they look pretty good. I'm gonna put them in the oven now at 350. Jamie says yes to air fryer. Ah. 360 for 10 minutes. Well then it's 360 for 10 minutes and I wonder, here's my take. I'm gonna try that though. We should try it in the air fryer. 360 for 10 minutes. It might dry them out. And this is only 15 minutes, but try it both ways. Especially if your oven is full and your air fryer is empty and you're like, what the heck do I put in my air fryer? Go for it. But um, oven at 350 for 15 minutes. Can we set a timer for 15 minutes, please? I was just about to ask Siri to do that and then she was gonna talk on my phone and really annoy you guys. When they come out, this is what they're gonna look like. Mine will look like this because I made it with peanut flour and regular flour and um, I wanna tell you one interesting thing about these. 14 grams of protein. Thanks to the Greek yogurt and thanks to the powdered peanut butter, 14 grams of protein for four of these. So that is like, this is a pretty awesome recipe. I'm gonna read you some more of the stats. Four grams of fat, four grams of fiber, 180 calories for four of them. That's pretty great. And you can eat these alone. You can heat them. I like them with a little bit of light butter. You could put a little bit of cream cheese, like whipped cream cheese, light cream cheese. Do whatever the heck you want with them. They're very good. Lauren, you took a bite of this the other mm -hmm. day. You liked it, right? Yeah. It was yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can make these vegan. Lauren's vegan, so we had a, um, a vegan version. But there they are. These are the beautiful chocolate chip bagel bites. We are posting the recipe. There's gonna be a, a link up. Thank you for saying they look delicious, Willow. I really appreciate it. Remember, today you have the chance to win Hungry Girl Measuring Spoons right there. You can win these. They can be in your house, in your kitchen. You, this could be, you could stick this in your baking powder as early as next week. If you wanna win, comment, like, do whatever you have to do. What are you guys doing for brunch today? Are you guys making food? Are you out? Are you driving about? Are you standing in front of your house? Anything? Some people said they're gardening today. 
Oh, there, oh, today is a good gardening day. Maybe we'll go save some more snails. What do you think, Lauren? Yeah. All right, I want to remind you, I am matching the recipe. I'm sort of part peanut butter, part chocolate chip. Matchy, matchy. We have the points for them, too. Points are? Green, six. Blue and purple are five. Green, Weight Watchers, six points. Blue and purple, five points. Not too bad, right? Love, you want the spoons? Who wants the spoons? All right, what would you do to make it vegan? I would use vegan yogurt. But I have to say, if you're not using the Greek yogurt, if you don't use a really thick textured yogurt, it sometimes affects the consistency of the dough. So that's all I'm gonna say. But you, it definitely works, I've made them before. You're getting sushi at Publix. All right, very good. Okay, I think I'm gonna go now because we're actually gonna take the dogs for a walk and I'm gonna wait for these guys to be done and then we're gonna post the recipe and we're gonna hang out. So I hope you have a relaxing Sunday. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, stay inside. Um, what else, what other messages? Sign up for daily emails at Hungry Girl. Click to get notifications so you're notified when I'm on live on Facebook. And I think that's all I got. I love you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for showing up Sunday morning. You have already made my day and it's pretty early, so there. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.